First this noontime, our top local story, a Woonsocket man facing criminal charges. Police just released this photo of the suspect, Justin Betancourt. We are learning more about the situation that caused neighbors to evacuate yesterday afternoon, including a standoff in a struggle with police. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pleiner is working the latest from court live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Good afternoon. That's right. We await an afternoon court appearance here at District Court in Providence in that violent struggle that you mentioned. Allegedly, when Socket police say the defendant pointed a firearm or what appeared to be a firearm at officers, and an officer in turn fired his firearm. Unintelligible shouting from Justin Betancourt. The man Woonsocket police say was barricaded alone in his fourth floor apartment Wednesday afternoon, brought out on a stretcher, though said to be uninjured. Police say Betancourt was suicidal, had weapons including a crossbow, and was behaving aggressively towards neighbors. They knocked on my door, told me to get my son and get out of the building. Jessica Flint and her young boy live one floor below the action at the Glenark Mills Apartments on Sales Street. Chris Grills lives only a few doors down. The cop pulled in the back parking lot. You could hear him going up and down the stairs and uh, asking for the guy to come out. He wouldn't come out. <laughs> Couldn't hear what he was saying, but you could hear the cop saying, we're not going anywhere until you open the door. And uh, about maybe 20 minutes later, they knocked on my door and told me I had to get out. <laughs> Officers eventually entered the man's apartment, Chief Thomas Carey. We had one officer who received a minor injury. The Woonsocket call reports that officer was cut in the arm by debris after a colleague fired his weapon. Nobody was hit. In the end, tenants were more concerned about their children, many en route to an active standoff scene. I have two little girls that are in school. They should be getting off the bus soon. I was told this is supposed to be a safe place for my son, and now all this is happening. Doesn't feel very safe. The charges, felony assault, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest, that initial appearance set for the 2 p.m. session will be here. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.